Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. Thanks for calling that out, Dieter. Not sure how you spotted it from inside the pen, but well done anyway. Let's go take a look at the Prometheus with the new paint job. Look at that. Well, can't really get a good view of it. There's the crest. Looking mighty fine. Let's hop on out. Hit that cheaty view. And see her emerge from the pen. Looking pretty sharp with the old irregular shapes. Well worth the 1500 renown, I can assure you of that. So, um, yeah, don't get used to Silent Hunters on the same day, but uh, I got everything I needed done today, and um, didn't have much to do tonight, so I was like, hey, let's do another episode. Plus, I don't know about you, but I desperately want to see the new title screen in all its glory at the start of the video. Thank you very much. It is a very wonderful title screen, and I quite like it. It's very beautiful. Anyway, um, plan for this evening, I guess, is to make it out of keel. Go all the way around. And let's see if we can add something to the kill list. Uh, because, I mean, you know, it would be nice. Uh, I'm logged in and online on Uplay, so Ubisoft is tracking my every move. Half speed ahead. Let's get moving, shall we? And, um, I've reinstalled the Open Horizons mod and the Steel Viking Interior mod, so let's go take a look at that. One of the ways I know that that mod is working are these hatches. So, and that's pretty cool. Let's take a look around the dials and all that. Looking pretty wonderful. But uh, I'm gonna be honest, it was a long time. It's been around, it's been over a year since I looked at these mods, so I'm not really sure what they do. Um, all I know is this new interior mod adds like serious doors and potentially other things. I'm not sure. Let's go take a look in the back and see if there's anything we can tell. Oh no, we've already talked to you. Anything, anything looking better in here? That stew lo still looks like a, a bit of a bowl of vomit, but, you know, what can you expect? My word, those engines are loud. Right, well, that's the interior of the Prometheus again. Let's just... Try and keep that noise out. I mean, we got people sleeping here, guys. Let's try and be kind. Get ourselves back on deck. Or on the bridge, or on whatever location this is. And... Yeah, that's, um... Task force inside. Bearing three, four, five. That's pretty much all I got. So! No ranting today. Well, at least not in this episode. Uh, we're gonna make our way over to Britain, and... I'm gonna see you guys... Once we get there. See you in a bit. What a difference a month makes. So, we, this is our third reposition, and of course the BDU is giving their ever insightful and always helpful hint of be more aggressive. <sighs> We're finding nothing out here. Um, I've come across a one sound contact that disappeared on me. And that's pretty much it. There are, obviously, a New couple of destroyers. Um, New waypoint, course 7. Let's just get that plotted. There are a couple of destroyers, of course, defending these ports, and, you know, if push comes to shove, I guess we could go destroyer hunting. But, to be perfectly honest, you know, that's not what we're here for. We're not here to sink Royal Navy destroyers. We're here to sink merchant marines and supply ships and, heck, even bigger warships. But, to go out hunting destroyers? I don't know, man. I don't know. So, we're gonna just patrol around here. Um, as you can see, we're not really picking anything up, probably aside from the occasional air contact. Uh, but it looks like this route out of here might be a bit more 
active when it comes to shipping. Oh, the game's thinking about something. Whoa. Okay, let's shut down the engines. And uh, let's see, they are very freaking close. Um, we can hopefully get in position here and um, get some shots off. Uh, I guess kind of point the submarine that way as you're backing up. Mm, it's not exactly what I had in mind, so how about you go that way? There we go. And we'll drop down to periscope depth. <laughs> Incredibly lucky that this is happening at night. Let me tell you guys that much. Uh, pop up the periscope. How these guys cannot see me, I do not know. But I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Let's go ahead and try and get some shots lined up here. Um, if we wait, we'll be able to get a two-shot on that guy, but that's not right away. It looks like we might be able to get a three-shot way out here. I don't know, though. We speed it up. Probably gonna miss. And that's just... Just out of range on speed two. Which is a shame, that guy's big. Well, three, we could always three, just go and hunt him down, engine. right? Like, minimum speed ahead. we can put ourselves up to minimum speed ahead, get a three shot on speed two off on this guy, and then we'll see what we can get on that guy. Well, these are looking like a fairly decent sized ships in this convoy. That's not a very good sentence. I apologize for my poor New sentence structure there. Moving slow. Closing. Bearing Let's kick it up to speed three, two. Zero. Seven. Long range. Slow speed ahead. And eventually this guy will come into range. It's just a matter of time, really. Reposition, thank you for that reminder. We do not need to reposition now. Although, for once, I'm glad the BDU actually assigned a reposition for us, because it actually turned out to be a little bit helpful. Which is, you know, it's it's... Rare Contact, merchant, moving slow. for Close that kind of thing to happen. Three, two, nine. Long range. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. And wait for it. Los. Oh, that's not going to hit. That is not going to hit. Um, let's get that up and put you on to speed two. Is that going to mm, not really speed three? No, that's not good either. Well, we can kind of guesstimate this, right? Like... That... There? Why not? These guys are freaking motoring, and actually, I'm almost concerned that that first torpedo shot is gonna hit. Nope, it looks like we're gonna be safe there. We'll see if that guy picks up on the fact that we're uh, shooting torpedoes, though. I hope he doesn't. Would not be good. We have a task force inside. Bearing one, one. So, theoretically, this guy will be the second one to get hit. Or maybe not. Torpedo impact. Nope, obviously not. Nice big hole. We Probably could have put these torpedoes down deeper. Um, I'm not going to argue that. Let's see if we can pick up the... Torpedo impact. Hey, hey! Two for two, that's not bad. Another nice big hole. Um, well, they certainly know we're here. Tracking Let's see target. what else Close we can hit. Uh, that guy might come into range. Although, these guys should be pretty busy doing their maneuverings. 
Now that two ships have been hit. So I guess we could probably just go and finish these guys off. Although, they know we're out here. So it's probably not a bad idea. My god, we're poorly positioned here, aren't we? Okay. Let's turn our boat around. Go ahead, speed to... And just try to get ourselves some better firing solutions here. New contact, merchant. My bad Constant for not paying attention to the maneuvering. Five, um, I'm going to risk two, it going like that. Why not? It seemed to work with this guy, so it should work with that guy, right? That's the Target way things right. work in the video game world. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, not quite, and that's going to be just a bit too quick. That guy we just shot at. Way down there, let's take a look. Uh, we could get a two-shot quite quickly on this guy, so we'll go for that. Hey! Look at us getting lucky on these shots we're only sort of aiming. Although, I think, I don't want to toot my own horn, and, you know, once I say this, a shot I line up just right is going to miss. But, uh, I think I'm getting a handle on how to sort of aim these things that isn't exactly lining up the numbers. If that makes any sense. Um, you can kind of position it where if, you know, your ship's going to be... Well, I'll explain it, you know, when I get into a situation where I can visually explain it um, what I really want is to get a shot on that guy which will be out of two one first Cause that's a big ship that's a big ship that deserves to have at least one hole in it so does that guy way back there did but we hit one of those right uh, no oh yes we did so, is this guy fully stopped then? He Tornado is. Impact. Oh, hold on. And that was a hit over there. New contact, merchant, moving slow, moving away, bearing 20. All right. Medium range. Well, that's four ships with holes in them, three of them on fire. This is not going that badly, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to get a shot on this guy to finish my evening off well maybe not my evening off but you know what I mean it'll make it'll make all of this just seem worth it if we can get okay so here's what I'm saying right it's a bit difficult uh, when it's this far out but if your numbers like behind the number you can kind of I don't know position it this way that doesn't make any sense I'm just ch talking gibberish um Let's just see. That guy is on fire. That guy is very far out there, but... Like here, if we put this just like a little bit behind like that... That might be a hit. It's kind of a long distance shot, so we'll see if that pays off, but I have a feeling that that might work. Keyword there is might. Um, we can go ahead and drop down the periscope. I don't need the F1 menu helping. I just want to see. This is the last guy. These are big ships. I'm quite impressed. New contact, merchant, moving fast, moving away, bearing 31, medium range. Oh, well, we'll see. I'm not what you would say hopeful on this shot oh I changed that I am very hopeful with this shot not really a kill shot but you've also got to remember we're doing this with a completely unupgraded crew which is you know probably something I should take a look at at some point is to um, you know we got 19 promotion points 
probably should have spent those. Anyway, we're gonna hop on up to the surface and... I'm sure you've all guessed it. Finish off some of these ships with the deck gun. Uh, namely this guy right in front of us. We could just go ahead and do that. So we got about five ships we can sink. We can let the rest of the convoy go. No armaments on this guy, and I don't think there's any armaments on that one either. So, that's good. We lucked out there. New patrol area assigned. That means we sunk something. Or maybe not. Maybe the BDU was just like, damn, okay, you disabled five ships? Yeah, you know what you're doing. You can move to a new location. Maybe. I don't know. Come on. And this is incredibly easy work for Max here. Ship sighted bearing four seven. Is that guy dead? Not yet. Uh, or maybe he is. It looks like you've adjusted fire to the ship behind him. And I guess I'm okay. Oh, yep, that ship is definitely going down. On to the next one. But, like I say, these big ships here... Bearing three, zero. This guy looks like he might be a little low. Looks like this guy might be sinking a bit. I appreciate that. Uh, it is tough to let, you know, these bigger ships go. Because, I mean, really... Really difficult to see the skin on this guy. But, uh, there's a lot of big ships here. This is a very big convoy that I would like... Bearing four, nine. Sorry for knocking on my desk there. That I would like to uh, to sink everything in, really. I'd like to t sink this whole convoy. It's just not in the cards at the moment. Well, that's two down, so where are we going for next, Max? We going for that guy? I think so. Well, those are going down. We can... Watch these two. What is hide UI? There's got to be something here that hides the UI. Is it in here? Tubes, min, hide, hubs. Shift Z. Oh, look at that. There we go. I guess he's going for that one. So I wonder if that other one is sinking now, too. Ship sighted bearing five. Yes, we could go over and check out the one he's shooting at. Just in time to see it catch fire. Ho ho! Nice explosion. Keep hitting that freighter, Max. Yeah, knock that mass off. Look at it go. Alright, let's see how it's going. The guy's almost gone. I guess we, we probably don't want to stand in front of the gun while it's shooting, but Wolfram, like Guntram, is a ghost. The Ghost Ship Captain 2.0. Look at that, I love it. Oh, we've switched targets to this guy now? So I'm going to have to assume that guy way out there is just dead. Let's see if it'll show up. Yep, dead. So we got one more. That guy there. And a couple more up here, really. We got two more ships that are uh, waiting to be sunk. And really, while we do that, our torpedo tubes should be reloading. 
Watch your captain, gentlemen. Good work, guys. You didn't shoot me. Mission successful. Alright, let's... Inspect that guy. Task force inside. Definitely on fire. We should be having most of our tubes reloaded here. Now, of course, we can't carry that many, but I am certainly thinking that we can, um... Ship sighted bearing five three. Go back out after those guys. And uh, do some do some good work against them. Yeah, those three are just sitting there as well, right? So that's six six some odd ships. That's ready. That's really not bad. Looks like um We're trying to shoot through okay, you know yes, what? Sir. Uh Man the deck gun, exit, yes, sir. Secure, secure the deck gun. Right, no more shooting? Okay, let's get ourselves repositioned. Um, are any of these guys not moving? I don't think so. I think all these guys are moving away. So let me just check here. Nope, that ship definitely did succumb to the torpedo we shot at it, which is good. Oh, well, it looks like we got another little high explosive Ship shell in there, too. Bearing five, five. So that's that guy going down. So I guess really it is just um, the rest of this convoy now. Let's see. Hey, that did get added. Huzzah. Okay, well, we can get rid of that. That's fine. Uh, certainly sounds like we've got some more ships being blowed up let's see if we can get ahead of this convoy now the thing that I do need to be cautious of is of course fuel level uh, that sounds ridiculous because we're not far out but I haven't really been paying close attention to it and you know there's there's a good chance um, okay so it looks like those guys are, are definitely gonna get ahead of us thanks to my cheaty map update positioning um, if we do something like that, we might be able to pull it off if we increase our speed and out a bit like that. Let's see. We should be able to keep these guys in visual contact the entire time, thankfully. Um, but it looks like we're just not exactly going to be able to catch them quite as quickly as I had hoped. We might be able to get a, uh, a quick on-the-move torpedo shot off. Maybe on that guy. I think the ships behind us have uh, all finally met their watery end. I don't know, though. What do you think, sir? Think? Do you think we can do it? You know what? Of course we can do it. We're freaking the Prometheus. The ace of the... Yep, that's the good pointing. That's exactly what we're going to do. Pride of the Krags Marina, Kriegs Marina, however you pronounce it. You know me in pronunciation of non-English words, and, you know, that is not exactly something that I'm all that proud of, my unilingualism, if you will. But it is, it is the way I is, so I roll with it. We're going to get a nice little turn in here, and hopefully, as we slip under... We'll get ourselves in a good firing position on that guy right there. That's the one we want. Let's see, if we kick out... Yeah, we're really behind the eight ball when it comes to speed on this guy. But that's about the best we're going to be able to do. So we'd have to put it a bit ahead. Something like that, I think. Um, let's try it. I'm not confident in that hitting, but I'm still going to take the shot because that's how I roll. We can kick it up to extreme speed. We're not doing great when it comes to speed underwater. And these guys are going... A speed that the game does not want to tell me, and they're not on my mini-map, so I can't check that way either. 
That's okay, though. Really, all we care about is the torpedo hitting this ship right here. And this is one of the many classes of ships that later on in the game become pretty well armed. So, uh, you know, you just want to always, always be a little bit careful about the ships you're going to be going at. Bearing one, eight. At this stage in the war, thanks for the autosave. Um, you know, it's not that bad. I have a feeling that torpedo missed. I don't see it anywhere here. Should be around here somewhere. Torpedo oh. impact. She hit. She hit and she is on fire. I like it. Certainly was not expecting that to work, but it did work. New contact, merchant, moving slow. Right. If I'm honest, guys, we don't need to be going this quickly. Let's find the ship that's on fire, target her, and uh, hey, man, the deck gun. Nice big target for Max to aim at, which is helpful. Of course. Even at night, this ship is not that difficult to miss when you're this close. And of course, Max misses. That's that's fine. That's to be expected. Although I gotta say, hitting hitting the ship, you know, in the superstructure might not be the best bet. Of course, we are wailing away with high explosive shells, so theoretically, these things should be causing craziness to ensue on the decks of the ship. I think that hit right there would classify as craziness. Oh. Oh, and this guy's on fire too. Why are you on fire? Did you get hit by a couple stray shells? Or... Must be. Well... We'll go for you if we need to. Or if we want to. If we can. Uh, looks like we're coming to the end of our pre-designed route there. We'll just keep pounding away at this guy. I'm not sure, but they might be shooting back. Oh, there goes some lifeboats. See, I guess the trick of this ship here is um, the gaps in the deck. You don't want your shell to fly through. Which is a, a pretty real concern. Come on. I know you're enjoying yourself, Max, but... Um, I guess we're all out of armor-piercing shells, so we're switched... Or we're all out of high explosives. We're switched over to the armor-piercing. And with the armor-piercing, we want to kind of get a bit lower. So that we punch holes through the ship on the water line. And we start letting that water come in. Because, I mean, we could pound this thing with armor-piercing shells till the cows come home and eventually sink it. But, um, really, what we want to do to speed up the sinking process, let me just check my map. I have a feeling that's the guy we're shooting at, and he is now officially dead. So now there's the guy who's basically right in front of us. I guess that guy? Nope. Where is the one we want to shoot at? Right in front. Yeah, that guy's definitely dead. So I guess that guy? Out like that? 
Yep, that is it. So we're going to drop it just a little bit and give it another fire. And I think that's going to be along the water line. And then we can send this guy to his watery grave too. Let me just see if I can't refresh that. And try to get the minimap to update. Alright, let's um, get out of the gun. And no, that's your target. Way up there. Let's go take a look at that target. Oh. No damage below the water line. But hopefully. So that guy's definitely our target. Let's get back up on the bridge. Hopefully, we sink him soon enough, too. Come on. Up you get. And uh, hopefully we don't run into that ship. That is the one concern I've got. This guy's going to be a slow sinker. I can, I can feel it. Let me just check one thing. You see, 16,950 or 65 tons. That is a big ship. 16,000 tons. So the troop ships are definitely ones that we want to be sinking. That's another one up there. Um, I mean, if we wanted to, we could hit the Uzo and see if we could get some, uh, some other shots done here. Like, I'm thinking maybe this guy... Bearing four. Although, like I say, they're going to be pulling Tracking evasive maneuvers target. like crazy. Tracking new target. So I'm not exactly sure torpedoing is going to be all that successful. Escape. That's what leaves the stations. I swear, man, you take some time off of a game and, and it's the little things that you forget. Let's go take a look at this guy as he's sinking slower and slower. Not much more time left, troop ship. Doesn't look like you guys got any lifeboats out either. I have a feeling I knocked them off with some high explosive shells. Sorry about that. Uh, feel free to, you know, send your complaints to um, to the BDU. They'll be happy to hear it. I'm sure. Oh, there's the Prometheus off in the distance. Slowly advancing. I'm not sure if we're hitting that ship. Uh, what we might want to do... We have a task force inside bearing three, two, kick seven. up our speed just a little bit. Both We're definitely ahead. hitting that ship. As this guy just slowly, slowly sinks down, let's go take a look at the one we're shooting. There's going to be more excitement in a ship exploding than in a ship slowly sinking. I assumed. I could be wrong. It looks like Max is missing more shots than he's hitting with. Granted, we're not exactly giving him a good angle on this ship. Although, I mean, really, he should be able to hit it from here. Like, yeah. Oh. That guy's officially under... Farewell. And we're just... Bearing five. Just not... Doing this quick enough. For my liking. And this convoy is getting further and further away. I'm amazed this guy is still able to... To move, if I'm honest with you. It's pretty impressive. Ship sighted, bearing seven. And I mean, he is taking evasive maneuvers. I don't know why. 
it's gonna be it's gonna take a lot for him to dodge like deck gunfire. Come on. Two, four, ready. Ship sighted, bearing nine. Are we all out of uh, munitions? Is that why we're stopping? I wish there was an easier way to check this. Yep, yeah, we're all out of ammunition. So what we're gonna do is pop on down and um sort of hope that this guy just can't move. <laughs> that's that's what I'm hoping for. Although it would be silly not to take this shot while it's lined up. Oh. Well, the first shot should hit. The second shot will probably miss. So we'll get him with the third two. Horrible waste of munitions there. That's okay. We'll survive. It should be coming through. Although this guy is pulling S-turns like a crazy mofo. So I'm not really sure... One zero meters. ...that my quick shooting of three torpedoes was... Shut down these uh, ...intelligent by any New stretch contact. of the imagination. Urgent. Moving slow, moving away. Bearing 12, long range. Yeah, it really doesn't look like that was some smart torpedo play. Unless we get lucky, and these guys... All stop. ...happen to hit ships way out here, I don't know. Torpedo missed, sir. It Torpedo doesn't missed, look like sir. it, does it? No, that's not gonna happen. Well, that's what I get for being an opportunistic idiot. Uh, but I'm, like, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that ship is still going. Anyway... We got one torpedo left. And really, we shouldn't be upset with 54,000 tons of ships sunk. That is pretty good. Uh, so good, in fact, we've completed the mission. So, what this means is we're just gonna actually, we're gonna resurface. And, um... Just get ourselves back for a resupply, really. And yeah, that should be good. Good news! Uh, our headquarters have moved from Kiel over to Willemshaven. So, that means we can rebase and end missions there now, which is wonderful. We're not stuck uh, having to go around Denmark or through the world's worst canal to plot a course through. That's annoying. So, I'm, and I mean, I'm sure it saves time, but you know, how much time do you want to save travel-wise? Oh, come on. Are these guys just stragglers? Yeah, they're just stragglers. We didn't hit any of them, did we? You're clear. I bet you're clear, too. Yep. Didn't hit any of those guys, so um, we can get out of that view. Hop on up on deck. And, uh... Wave bye to the freighter fleet. It's a shame that guy didn't go down. He's definitely made of sterner stuff than I've ever seen. Uh, it would be nice if these two hit each other and then both exploded into glorious flame. I don't think that's going to happen. Sadly, I think these guys are going to continue on towards whatever their destination is. Torpedo missed, sir. I'm aware it missed. That's fine. Smoke yep. On the horizon. Bearing two, one, that four. guy is not going to die. And that's fine by me. All right, guys. I will be back when we, when we make it back to port. See you guys in a bit. All right. Well, we are back at uh, Heligoland. Oh, wait. We need, to, we need to resupply. Why can we not resupply? Do we need to get closer? Okay. Course 
mean, I'm not sure how much closer we need to get. I'll stop. Turn travel time off? I don't, I don't, I don't... I don't understand! Why can't I resupply? Fine, we'll go to Willemshaven. Hoping for a nice, quick resupply, but of course, it's not going to happen today. That's fine. Willemshaven's a pretty good port. Fairly easy to get in and out of. The sub pen's there, so we should be able to, to resupply once we get there. Let's make sure we're not going to hit anything. Go back into travel mode and make sure we're not going to hit anything. And we look like we're in the clear. So away we go. All right, I'll be back when we get to Willemshaven. So, you'd think after logging over 120 hours in a game and doing a 51 episode Let's Play series, you'd have seen all the bugs the game could offer you. Not so. As you can see, our uh, submarine, the uh, the Prometheus, is right next to the icon for the sub base and for Willemshaven Harbor. But there is no um, harbor thing. There's no resupply. There's no nothing. So, I don't know what's up. Um... But, uh, yeah, we can't resupply, which is a little bit of a concern. We do have a new mission. Um, as you can see, Northwestern Approaches. We got some stuff going on there, so I don't know if that's, that's to do with bugging out or what. But, uh, you know, apparently that's where we need to be for that mission. I vaguely remember that mission. Um, there were some good times. Anyway, what I'm going to do is... Go ahead and save the game here, and then see if, on a fresh load, the uh, the game will let us resupply. So that'll be in the next episode. Um, plans for the next episode, provided we can resupply, of course, is to uh, go through the channel and uh, and do some southwestern approaches. Unless, I mean, if that has to be done, that's March, that's June, so we might go north. We might go north. Go check out the British Northern Patrol. See what we can't sink. But, uh, you know, we might still go through the channel. We'll find out. Anyway, that's going to be for the next episode. Let's go ahead and save this game again as First Patrol. Because that's my habit when I'm ending a series. Or ending an episode. Uh, that's just the way I do things. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below... Total tonnage, 129,512. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.